Is this thing on? Good morning, Vietnam. Recording to you live from somewhere. This is Woodsy Hikes. I'm up by, I'm up off Squaw Pass Road in Jefferson County. <clears throat> Doing a little walking up to this radio tower. Just thought I'd just throw on the camera and, I don't know, talk about whatever's on my mind. Oh, stuff's good, man. Stuff's real good. I'm going to go to Virginia in like two days. Um, what day is it? Today is Thursday, so I've got three more days. I might move the flight up. I might just move the flight up because um, it's Thursday and I'm supposed to go on Monday, but I want to go out there now, so I think I'll move the flight up. And um, yeah, I'm going to go out to Virginia for like 13 days. It's going to be epic. I'm going to do a bunch of trekking around Northern Virginia. Um, yeah, just go sightsee like everything. Um, that's going to be sweet. Um, oh, I got going to get put on the schedule at the Evergreen Brewery to work in their kitchen. Um, I'm just going to start at two days the first week and then more once I show that I'm good. I'm a good worker. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess I don't really have that much to talk about. I was hoping that a whole bunch of very deep and insightful philosophical um, words would come out. Um, <laughs> I'm like uh, Carlos, or no, uh, the Hispanic friend um, from um, Napoleon Dynamite, he's like, I did not have much to say. <laughs> That's me right now. Uh, so Mount Evans is right there. Uh, over there. Um, yeah, that's Mount Evans. And yeah, you can sort of see the road. <sighs> that goes up it. And this is a forest service road here. Uh, closed. It's closed. That's why I'm hiking it. Um, yeah. Um, and yeah, it's a little rocky, but my Subaru crushed it on the way to the parking area, and it was just like this. Um, I'm, I'm, I have resolved that I want to lift my Subaru on Rally Tech springs and shocks, and that's probably going to take precedent over getting a slide-in camper for my pickup truck because, man, putting like a better suspension on my Subaru and lifting it up. I'll be able to like go so fast on roads like this. Like my truck, yeah, it can handle like more technical stuff um, that my Subaru will never really be able to do with like four wheel drive low and stuff. But like on like a on like a graded road um, that is just like really bumpy and shitty, so rocky up here in the Rocky Mountains. Oh man, my, having a having that Rally Tech suspension on my Subaru is gonna really crush it. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. Um, my buddy, uh, Jerad has a, uh, uh, garage I can work on, uh, stuff in. Um, it's really cool. Um, so yeah, come out up above the tree line now. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Awesome. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, I guess this is my first sort of video blog as being woodsy hikes. Hiking. <laughs> Actually hiking. I know I need to get a selfie stick because my arm is getting tired. <laughs> um, uh, let's see, let me talk about some gear. So, like this is the first time I've used this uh, Mountain Smith Carbon Light Pro um, trekking pole. And I brought both of them, but I decided to clip one of them to my bag because I didn't need it that bad. Um, and it's phenomenal. It's like amazing. It's like the trekking pole I always wanted. Um, the cork grip is super... Um, comfortable and it's like so lightweight it's got aluminum in the bottom and then carbon for the other two pieces and uh 
I love how it looks too. Matches my Vibrams, yellow and black, which is super sweet. Um, let's see, okay, on my feet, Vibram V-Trail. V-Trail. Yeah, uh, I love them. They uh, need a little more breaking in than the uh, KSOs. They're definitely uh, stronger, kind of like a, the KSOs are like a very fine mesh, whereas these are definitely a much thicker, like almost a neoprene level. Um, uh, much thicker rubber, uh, super, super good, but uh, still super flexible, super light, um, and definitely just a little more protection on the um, all the rocks and stuff. I haven't had my feet get hurt by stepping on a rock too hard this whole time, so um, that's awesome. And the KSOs, I'm, I'm always like, uh, it's always hurting more, which is good to build up the strength, but um, gets a little bit uh, tiring to deal with that. Um, yeah, and then so pants and jacket, outdoor research, hat, outdoor research. I'm very enamored with this hat. It comes with a sunshade, but I took it off. But it's like the most comfortable, most form-fitting, like best designed hat, super lightweight, most breathable hat I've ever found in my whole life. It's like such a clutch piece of gear. Like if you think about how much time you spend wearing a baseball hat and um, you know, how you kind of search around to find the perfect one, um, you know, isn't too hot, but isn't too light and fits right and doesn't push your sunglasses down um, with too much of a curve in the brim. Uh, this one does it all. It's, it's, it's uh, yeah, it's a revelation. So, um, so that's everything I'm wearing. Uh, I guess both of these probably go to the same place. Um, Get up to the uh, radio tower here pretty soon. Mount Evans looking bay, looking fresh. So this one on the right, that uh, that has a name. I forget it. Um, I forget that name of the mountain. Uh, it's Kenton or something. Um, I hiked that uh, back last May. So it's September of 2021. I hiked it in May, I want to say, of 2020. Um, and I hiked it all the way from Echo Lake, which is off to the right, like way far. Um, it was like snowy. Um, I was like hiking through like snow that like you could walk on but then sometimes you'd post hole into it but it wasn't it wasn't enough coverage to use snowshoes but i had my snowshoes because i had just gotten them um so i had to clip to my backpack i definitely did not use them um that would have been a fun one to make a video of that was an adventure for sure and uh i, I my goal was to get to the top of mount evans but i did not make it because i spent man i hiked 14 miles that day just doing that mountain um that was a trek for sure you walk all the way up to Chicago Lakes, and then, um, well, there's, I think there's the Idaho Springs Reservoir first, and then the Sh Chicago Lakes, there's two of them. Um, and there's like a huge, huge like natural wall. It's like really sweet that like holds up the first one. And um, and hiking up that was, it was all covered in snow. So it was like a big snow wall thing. It was like Game of Thrones, it was, it was, it was neat. This view is so cool. I can't wait to get up to this radio tower. It's going to be really neat. So, yeah. What is, what is the point of it all? Why do we do anything? Why do we get up in the morning? I just had to put Ringo down. My dog of uh, four years. Would have been four years I had him. Um, and coming up here in Halloween. That was the day I got him in 2017, Halloween. It was tough. Um, but uh, he's in a better place now, for sure. For sure. He, uh, he couldn't do anything. He couldn't walk anymore. He just, he'll, he'll get up, he'll walk, he'll go take a piss, but then he couldn't get more than 
10 steps in really. Um, all right, here's one of the towers. I wonder if the other way, oh, okay, there you go. You can see it now, fire lookout tower. So that's, that's really what I want to go to. So I'll just walk over to this um, cell phone tower real quick though. Um, yeah, man, it was, the waiting was almost the hardest part. You know, I had the appointment at 3 p.m. to do it, 3.30 actually. Um, so I took him down to Evergreen Lake and we just sat there for an hour and that was a hard hour. Um, just thinking about all the, all the time we had together. Um, it's pretty sweet. It's where, uh, I don't know, a bunch of my cell phone coverage probably comes from or something. I love to learn more about this stuff. These things are really cool. It's like outer space. Um, you know, working at Buckley Air Force Base, I'm by those great big space satellites, and uh, yeah, you know, communications, right? I'm communicating through this camera. The camera's gonna communicate through my laptop into the servers of YouTube, and then, um, able to be streamed by you and uh, I don't know that tower might have uh, some part in that uh, in some way pretty neat okay so and then and then this other tower over here is just another form of communications it's just you know fire lookout tower somebody was in there it was analog you know I had to be there they had to live there and watch for fires and, and communicate that with a radio, uh, analog radio. Pretty neat. So yeah, it was hard when I got to the vet. It took a freaking hour before they got the shot in them. It was like sitting around, waiting, waiting for the doctor like it is at every, every uh, medical facility. It's like you get there and then the assistant comes to talk to you and they're like, Great, so the person who actually knows anything is going to come and do stuff. It's like, oh, great, where were they? Like, could I have just seen them in the first place? I made the appointment for 3.30. Why weren't they <laughs> just available to do the thing that I came here to do? <laughs> anyway, um, it's, you know, I, I understand that they can't always be uh, right on schedule because some patients need more time, but they never really seem to be running early, do they? any doctor <laughs> or veterinarian or anything. It's like, you always gotta sit in a little windowless room and wait for them. Anyway, um, so yeah, I was just, he was like laying down and I fed him a bunch of treats and uh, they gave him the first shot and he was like, you know, got all sleepy and groggy and stuff and was just, you know, super sleepy and then, um, then they gave him the second shot in his leg, and he uh, sort of took a few breaths, and he's gone. And he was just, he's gone, and he was at peace, definitely at peace. And uh, yeah, it's good you, when you got. It's hard to know with your first dog, I think, when it's time. But he was a little past his time, probably. Uh, he was definitely on borrowed time a little bit. Um, it was hard because he went up and down and situational. I had him out in Kremlin, Colorado, where I was working um, at the liquid descent rafting, and he was pretty active and was walking around and had, you know was pretty interested in stuff and was eating. And then as soon as I got back home, he uh, just was like, "I'm over it. I'm done. I'm good." You know? So, and I was like, "Well, in two days, is he going to be better, or is this just a temporary thing?" Or no, it, it stayed that way. So down and it's a good thing it's an uh, old dog who needs a lot of attention is um, a lot of work and um, it's nice to have my freedom um, you know I definitely enjoy having a dog out here with me that'll definitely be something that'll be in the works um, the dog could come around and run off the leash will definitely be a thing I'm <laughs> It's funny how I got an old dog for my first dog when I'm so active, and he was not able to go hiking with me at all, but it's just how it played out, and it just worked out. It worked out great. Um, 
wouldn't trade it for the end for anything. He was so cute and funny. So simple minded. Blue healers are very simple minded dogs. They just they want what they want, they want their ball, they want their food, and uh and that's it. They don't want all that much affection. Um so yeah, another cattle dog probably. Uh this uh, one I I, don't want, I want it to be a mix, though. I don't want that dang hip dysplasia. It's horrible. So, all right, Squaw Mountain Fire Lookout. So I'm on Squaw Mountain right now, so of which Squaw Pass is named after. This is dope. Put my sunglasses real quick. Oakley Mainlink XL Prism Lenses. I got these a couple weeks ago and they're amazing clarity is like nothing else really like no other sunglasses and then the XL version fits on my head which is apparently ginormous it's seven and um, seven and a half um, inches around here it is Oakley's are just the best sunglasses. Had a couple pairs, and the way that the arms can pop off, just pop right back on, and I don't know, something about the quality of their plastic is stop. Squaw Mountain Fire Lookout is occupied. Facilities are for the use of renters only. So this thing has people in it right now? God, that thing is cool. Yo, I want to rent this and do this. Living in there would be incredible. Available for rent by reservation only. Please respect the privacy of renters when visiting the area. Well, okay, well, I'll respect the facility and just hike up to the bottom of it. <laughs> yeah, so dogs are amazing. Um, you know, it's hard to have a dog and have them be watched when you go out of town, but if you kind of build a friend group around it, then you watch their dog and they watch your dog. And then it's no big deal. Super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Um, and the way they enrich your life is... You know, they're like a, a symbiotic relationship with us. I, I must be close to... Uh, 
Robert B. Allison Jr., recognition of three years of dedicated service to the U.S. Forest Service. 71, and I have a commitment to Squaw Mountain and Cow's Hill to preserve it in the fourth year. Thank you, Robert B. Allison Jr. This is really cool. I'm really glad I recorded this. Wow. I will say one thing about the prism lens is that I turned the mail so I see the black lens is down to see it. For whatever reason, I think somebody will be Wow, this view is incredible. You can certainly look out and see everything. So that Denver is in that direction. Let's see if I can pick up those great big old buildings.